Hi, it's Anne Emery, and I'm going to teach you how to declutter your cluttered stacked bars. What is it about these charts? Stacked bars and stacked columns, they always end up looking so awful and so busy. And I think that's because there are just so many categories and so many colors. It's hard for your audience to know where to look. So let's talk about how to clean them up and how to strategically focus your audience's attention simply by using dark colors. Okay, so let's back up a step and I'll give you some background information about this example. Now, this is a made up example, but it's based on a number of real life projects that I've worked on. I do a lot of public health consulting. So we're pretending that we've got this table with a few different rows and a few different columns. This is nothing new to you. You've seen tables like this a million times before. So in this example, we're pretending that we're talking about five different services that you might get at your doctor's office. So think of different types of tests and procedures that you might get, and we'll just call them service A, B, C, D, and E. And we're also pretending that we want to compare our organization, the ABC organization, to a few of our competitors. For example, for service A, procedure A at the doctor's office, we're pretending that we provide 41% of those services in our nearby neighborhood. And our nearby competitor, competitor one, they give 30% of those procedures and competitor two does 7% of those procedures and so on. So across each row, it adds up to 100%. But again, it doesn't matter if you don't work in healthcare or you don't do anything public health related. You've got tables like this with a few different rows and a few different columns and things either add up to 100% horizontally or down the column. So in Excel, your data probably looks like this. It's just a table and you'd make the default graph simply by highlighting or selecting your table. And then you'd paste your graph into PowerPoint and you get, you know, just like a regular old default stacked bar chart. So you can't stop there. Let's pretend that you want to share this graph with your staff at an upcoming staff meeting and you need to find a way to explain it a little bit better. You don't just want to show this little chart on the slide. Okay, so here's what you would do for your slideshow. At the very least, you would enlarge this chart and enlarge the font at least size 18 for slides, please. No size 11 or 12 for slides. Slides. That's crazy. Okay, and then you'd have to start decluttering. So you'd remove a lot of unnecessary ink and you just rearrange the remaining ink a little bit. Here's what it would look like. So remove the border and then look at the bottom of the chart at the scale. You can uh, remove the vertical lines, you know, add that back to the scale, declutter the scale, only show the zero to 100%. Look over to the left by A, B, C, D, and E. You can remove that vertical line. Move the legend up to the top. The legend's pretty important for this type of chart. We need to know which color corresponds with which organization or competitor. We can't let that data get lost at the bottom. We've got to move it up to a more prominent position. I would love to put these words on top of the categories, but I think some of the categories, especially that magenta one for competitor three, is just too short. So we're going to have to have a separate legend up at top. But don't worry, we're going to format it. It's going to look a little bit better and be a little bit easier to read than this here. Okay, so let's continue decluttering. We'll remove the secondary title. We don't need a slide title and a graph title. That's redundant. We want to say what we need to say one time. We don't want any redundancies on here. That's clutter. Again, that's just taking away from the chart's message. Declutter the title a little bit more. For slideshows, I recommend short and sweet. I usually just talk about the content, but I don't say any so what message. That's what your voice is for as the presenter. So it could simply be market share or whatever jargon you would use uh, in your unique setting. Okay, fix the legend a little bit more. Color code the words to match the graph as one extra cue for your readers of which one goes with which. Enlarge the bars, remove that awkward white space in between them add some labels, make the labels legible in a bold white color, and then outline the bars in white. Let me go back one. Look, un, uh, unwhitened bars versus the white outlines. It really helps. It helps you see the colors apart from one another. I think that one tip alone makes your stacked bar charts a lot easier to read. Okay, so this is what your finished product would look like kind of. These are the low hanging fruit edits, the bare minimum decluttering that you need to do to your stacked bar chart. Enlarging the font, removing the border, thinking about where you're going to place the legend, color coding the legend to match the graph, 
adding some labels, uh, making sure the labels are legible, you know, in a bold font on a colored background is key, outlining each of those rectangles in white, and making sure that the scale on the bottom is decluttered. You don't need to label 0%. And 10% and 20%, just the minimum and maximum 0 to 100. That's plenty of information if you've got the direct labels on each of the rectangles themselves. Okay, but let's take this a step further. We're not done yet. This is the bare minimum editing that we need to do to declutter this. Let's talk about storyboarding for a slideshow or a live presentation setting. Storyboarding means that you present your slides one at a time. You would do it in steps or stages, first, second, and third. So first, what I recommend doing is beginning with the finished slide, the one that I just showed you that's already decluttered. Second, you would dive deeper, focus attention with dark colors. I'll walk through a real life example of this in a second so you can see how I would click and how your eyes are going to follow the dark colors instantly without you even having to think about it. And then third, I would show that completed slide again and I'd open the floor to discussion and let people look at the finished product a little bit more. Okay, so this is what it would look like in real life if you were storyboarding a cluttered stacked bar chart. So you would begin with the finished slide and you'd say, hey everybody, I'm Anne. Thanks for coming to our staff meeting. We're gonna talk about market share and compare us to our four closest competitors. So first, let's dive in and look at just us. How are we doing? So for service A, we provide 41% of those services and for service B, same thing, 41% of those services there. Product C, that's where we really shine. We provide 80% of those services, of those you know tests or procedures, whatever they are in this fictional example. That's where we have the biggest market share. And you can see we still have a piece of service D and E as well, 29% and 23%. Okay, so let, now let's turn our attention to our nearby competitor down the street, competitor one shown here in blue. So they provide 30% of service A and 19% of service B, but then service C, remember that's where we shine and we provide 80% of those services. They don't provide that service at all. There's a huge difference between us and competitor one when it comes to C. Then you'd click with your little clicker and you go to competitor two in green that just stands out. It, it just like jumps off the slide at them. And you'd say competitor two, you know, they are a competitor of ours, of course. We know who they are, but they only provide 7% of service A and 13% of service B and only 12% of service C. So while we need to have them on our radar, they're just a little sliver really of the pie. And then I would finish by showing the finished slide one last time and I'd say, okay, and you can see how competitor three is doing and you can see how competitor four is doing. Let's talk about this and talk about what it means for our work. And we'd probably pause and look at this slide for a few more minutes, maybe talk about it for 20 minutes or so as a team and address any questions. So at the bare minimum to declutter your stacked bars, you've got to take your default chart and turn it into something like this where you're strategically removing the border, moving around the legend, labeling the bars a lot better, outlining those shapes in white. And then for bonus points, the icing on the cake would be to storyboard your slides in stages, maybe three different stages or so like this, where you're clicking through the slides very intentionally with your clicker and guiding people's eyes with dark colors. Thank you.